Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, evening, how are you? Teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Great, how was your Friday? My Friday, it was a really bit stressful. Stressful. Oh, you went to San Miguel, you say, right? No, 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 no. On no, the weekend. My, my, boss, my boss and the manager. My God, <laughs> they have the training. They have the training. Uh, no, 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 the, the agents. <laughs> they just, the agent. they oh, they went to supervise. the practice. Uh -huh. <laughs> they just saw the practice, yeah. All right, good. So you didn't go? No, I I see the practice when they when the practice is here in the in the shooting Salvador. range in mm. San Salvador. Mm. True, true, true. And I'm shooting too. All right. So you take advantage. Yeah. All right, great. I practice my shooting. <laughs> and do you have like a, a a scale of rating or anything to measure how exact you are? Yeah, the instru instructor. Mm -hmm. The instructor, yeah, make a like a square in Excel. Mm -hmm. What well, they qualify the the the, the agents, but mm -hmm. it's not like uh, you have to pass this. The is the test. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just practice and and learn how can you use the weapons. Mm -hmm. For example, if if one agent has some emergency. Mm -hmm. um, he knows how can use the weapon. Mm -hmm. So yeah. somebody else substitutes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, it's Friday night, finally. <laughs> Friday night. Teacher, I have a yes, question. Tell me. For this, um, for this day, is the class um, in the in the model um, sixteen? Yes, that's right. So this week we are going. We need to finish uh, unit the session four. three. But for this week we have to finish uh -huh. unit four. No, the lesson three, uh -huh. and next week the unit four. Oh, okay. If you finish the unit three. You can advance the unit four because next week is going to be short if you don't do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, teacher. Okay. That's right. Okay. Well, let's get started. Let's get to the point. I see one second. Just need to delete something from here. And get the attendance are we ready for the attendance well i see still some people connecting so let me share the screen uh yes we've been practicing the yes no questions and of course today we're gonna go one step ahead and we're going to practice wh questions right Customer service, I'll be able to ask customers details about a problem they had to provide a solution and brainstorm about further questions you ask customers to get more information about a problem they have. So this is an email, right? So we're gonna talk about this. We're going to see how to structure the WH questions or the information questions, right? And then here's the explanation, so practically, we are working on these pages, page 35 and 36, and then the review, the review for the unit three, okay? So that's what we're gonna be studying. And yeah, there are some exercises. It's still about the simple past. And then next Monday, we'll start with the next unit, all right? Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Oh, right. Great. So let's get the attendance. Now I see more people are connected. Let me just get it. Oh, by the way, next week you also have the final exam, right? The, the final test. And today is the 12th of May. 2023. 
Exactly. Andrea. Hello. Okay. Hello, good evening. Okay, Carlos. Good evening, present. Dennis. Not here, Gilberto. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Hazel. Present, good evening. Hi, Jose Andres. Present teacher. Hi, Julio. Catherine. Nice, thank you. Kathy Briseida. Present. Okay. Mary. Mary Leticia. Not yet. All right. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Orlando Danilo. Present teacher. Jordi Alexander. Salvador Alberto. Present. Susana. Virginia. Present teacher. Hello. Good evening. And William. Present teacher. Hello. <laughs> hey, how are you, Mary? Sticky. Good. Good. All good. Good. How, how was your day at work? No. No. <laughs> you didn't work today. Eh... ¿Cómo? Did you work today? I... Did you go to work today? No. You didn't go? No. Why? Um, ayer era mi día libre, pero fui a trabajar, entonces me lo cambiaron para hoy. <laughs> oh, you changed your day off. Yes. Okay, so today was your day off. Okay. Mm, that's how you say it. Today was my day off, so I didn't go to work. <laughs> All right. Nice. Nice. Great. Let's see. I just saw Rudy connecting. Hello, Rudy. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Um, All good. So far. So so. But it's Friday. Yeah. It's Friday. You don't work on Friday. Now you don't work on Saturday. Do you work on the weekend? No. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Cuerpo lo sabe. How do you say cuerpo? Body. 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 Body knows. And the body knows. Ah, bien saben hacer translation, vea. Ahí sí todos. Ahí sí saben. And the body knows. I know. Pero, you know, this is cultural because, um, I don't know. It's like mentally we program to be tired on Thursday and more tired on Friday. So we know that we won't work on the weekend. And the weekend is too short. And then on Monday we are tired again. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to explain. All right. Bye. Escriban dos oraciones en el chat negativas en pasado de algo que no hicieron este día. Algo que no hicieron, que dejaron de hacer. Por ejemplo, I didn't drink coffee in the afternoon. I was too busy. Y eso sí, algo serio. That's serious. <laughs> Two sentences. In negative, in past. I didn't y el verbo. I didn't go to the supermarket and I needed to go. Yes. Two negative sentences in pass. On the chat, please. Here, on Zoom chat. Two negative sentences in pass. I didn't do things that you didn't do today. Okay. For example, Mary can say, I didn't go to work today. <laughs> I didn't. Tengo la primera. Exactly. 
<laughs> I didn't work today. I didn't see my friends at work. Okay, I didn't have breakfast with my friends. You have a lot, actually. Another thing I didn't do today was, let me see, let me remember. Hmm, I didn't check social media today at all. I didn't call my mom either. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to the supermarket and I needed to go. I didn't go to the gym. Uh-huh. Exactly. That's the type of sentences in past. I didn't go to the gym today. Ah, that's bad, Salor. <laughs> I didn't see the newspaper. <laughs> I didn't read the newspaper. Huh? I didn't visit a bank. I didn't go to the bank, you can say. I didn't go for shooting range. I mean, uh -huh, you didn't go, it's true. I didn't play soccer with my friends. I was very tired. I didn't forget to come the car for assistance. Uh-huh. What does that mean? No olvide llevar el carro. Ajá, no olvide llevar al mecánico o asistencia. Uh -huh. No lo olvidó hacer. O sea, que sí lo hizo. No. Oh, <laughs> Ajá, porque fue I forgot to take my car to the mechanic or I didn't take my car to the mechanic. Ah, okay, okay. For maintenance, I, mm -hmm. and I didn't listen to music. Oh, me neither. I didn't talk to my friends. I didn't talk to my friends because everybody was busy. Mm -hmm. I didn't call my mom and I, and I was going to call her. It's just not feeling well. I didn't drink. Didn't drink. No, el tú no va, mister. <laughs> Don't get excited. I didn't drink Coca-Cola today. I didn't go to the company today. Ah, really? You stay home. Okay. I didn't watch TV. I didn't see a movie. I didn't go to the beauty salon. <laughs> I didn't have lunch with my partners either because I went to another place for lunch. Because I don't like what they prepare for lunch on Fridays. Besides that, I didn't want to stay there. I wanted to relax at least for one hour. Uh -huh. I didn't visit my friends at the weekend. I didn't go swimming or I didn't go to swim yesterday. I didn't visit my mom. All right. I didn't read a book. I didn't study. I didn't play chess. I didn't surf the net. All right. Okay, good. Nice. That's good. We are reviewing the past tense in negative sentences of things that you didn't do today. Well, today is May the 12th, Friday, as I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. So this is our class number 15, of course. And we're getting to the point on which all right, it says that at the end of this session, participants will be able to prepare a conversation about the things they did yesterday at home or at work using the simple past in all its form correctly. Very ambitious, actually. <laughs> Very ambitious objective, if you ask me. So, agree or disagree? I agree, I disagree. I agree, I don't agree. Yes? Vamos a ver, vamos a discutir esto de los customers. Ustedes que tienen experience atendiendo customers. I do have experience attending customers, but my customers are usually participants of a session or students from an institution or who are learning a language, right? So, okay, these are some of the ideas. Read the following ideas and mention if you agree or disagree. If you agree, why? 
If you disagree, why? The customer is always right. The company agent must be compliant, yes. like pleasing. Transfer the call when you can find the solution or showing politeness is sometimes unnecessary. Okay. Agree or disagree? One second. Try to try to uh, understand the questions. And then we're going to discuss. Podemos volver al libro. Yo creo que ya dije suficiente. Yo tengo comentarios. No, es que ha sido un gran trabajo de pastoral y poético de honor que la minuto es un día. No hace que a ver eso. Ah, son los fichas. En el caso, pero no me importa el pantalón. Un poco más. Bueno, pues ya tengo ideas. Yes. Mm -hmm. I agree, I disagree. Yes, imagine. Teacher, why is showing politeness is sometimes unnecessary? It's an opinion. Ah, okay. Showing politeness is sometimes unnecessary. You agree or you disagree? <laughs> I agree. I disagree. <laughs> if you I say, disagree, teacher. I disagree. Why? Um, because it's uh always could be uh, show that the politeness. Yeah. Polite politeness. Politeness with a client, with a or a whatever client. people. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that you uh, show what you feel if you agree or disagree here i just have ideas okay <laughs> the idea is that you argue express your thoughts and ideas regarding this quotes or this uh, sentences right okay ready to discuss with your partner yes teacher all right all right let's see let's make the groups we're gonna make a small groups. I hope, wait a second. Yeah, of course, everybody can participate. Creo que sí. <laughs> Creería, <dude. laughs> Creería, okay. Y 
Yo tengo mil ideas en español. <risa> Así no me vale. <risa> La teacher ha mandado la imagen al grupo. Creo que sí, me he fijado, quiero ver. Yo le tomo, Ah, sí. sí, aquí está. Uh -huh. Ya me apareció. El cliente no siempre tiene la razón, ¿verdad? Sí. <risa> Eso es así. El cliente, espera. Hay que decirle que sí, va, porque. No. Por educación. Por el, sí, por ser más polite. Y en cuanto dice que la gente de la empresa debe cumplir, pues. Opino que se tiene que buscar algún tipo de solución con respecto al problema que se le presente. Y si no se le da ninguna este, solución, se le puede transferir la, la llamada. I, la, I imagine, I imagine it's like a try to the resolve the problem uh, at client or customer. Okay, uh, the customer is override. I think so. Uh, yes and not. Why? Yes, when the customer uh, requests uh, to the company or store that product with with several characteristics, uh, he needs the product. Uh, then the company uh, should should give the product. With the characteristics. Lico, les expone el caso, um, como que los hace cambiar uno de idea, pero hay unos que son cerrados y aunque se les explique y se les diga, no, no hay forma de hacerle ver las cosas. Sí, entonces, ¿cómo respondemos? Yes, because eh, always attend. Eh, o sea, yes, because, porque hay que atender sus peticiones, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Aunque no tengan razón. Tenemos que responderlas porque después nos van a preguntar, ¿verdad? Sí, claro. Entonces, yes, because. Agree, ¿verdad? Agree. Uh -huh. Agree. Aunque yo le, yo le seguiría acuerdo, poniendo pues. que no. Sí, pero le voy a preguntar por qué. O dice agree. Um, porque realmente no. O sea, a veces sí la tienen, pero no siempre. Y como, es que que y como, como la pregunta... No puede discutir de frente con el cliente porque usted lo pierde. Si usted se pone a discutir así de tú a tú, ¿verdad? No, es que se tiene Lo pierde que y deja la... de percibir, pierde, pierde la empresa, pierde uno como vendedor. Um, Entonces lo sí. más lógico es aceptar de que él tiene la razón, aunque usted sabe que no la tiene, ¿verdad? No, pero, pero para mí sí, sí, sí es necesario... Que yeah. en algún momento, ¿verdad? Sea desagradable yeah. o no. Yeah. Ajá, solo que ahí dice, por eso dice, por, yo digo que disagree, porque por eso dice showing politeness is sometimes unnecessary, porque, este, ¿cómo se llama? Ahí es como que le diga, es que si usted, por a veces es innecesario ser educado, y por eso, no, no, no sería así, ¿verdad? <risa> disagree. Exacto. En the first Question when say the customer is always right. Usted dijo que estaba agree, o sea, estaba de acuerdo. Sí, ahí sí. It depends because some customers um, once, uh, for example, if you if you pay one service, you can 
receive more than this service. If you contract something, um, if you pay for one service and you make a contract, you can receive more than this contract. O sea, que le digo que si usted no como que contrata o paga un servicio, uno no puede exigir más de, de lo que ya ha comprado. Uh -huh. Entonces, a veces unos clientes como que quieren exigir más de lo que ellos han pactado en un contrato, por ejemplo. Entonces, para mí no siempre el cliente tiene la razón. Ahí en disagrí. Es verdad. Sí, o sea, como depende, it depends for the kind of people. Depende Fíjense que allí donde yo trabajo, este, <coughs> nos han, bueno, una de las, de las, ¿cómo le puedo decir? De las reglas, o no sé cómo, de las normas. Sí, el cliente siempre tiene la razón. Aunque yeah, no tiene razón, too. siempre es de tratarle, ¿verdad? De, de entender, es pero si no se puede, pues... Buscar una solución. Hay una solución, ya. Ya, es like that because you don't want to lose, for example, one company doesn't want to lose a customer. Porque las compañías no quieren como perder un, un, un comprador, ¿va? Un, un cliente, ¿va? Vaya, ahorita que está la teacher aquí, hablen. Um, no, porque a lo mejor no está de. <ríe> like, ya puso su emoción. Este. No, tal vez nos da otros minutitos como ayer para, para entrar a la plataforma y, y, of y jugar course. un. You can do it. You can share ideas. You can ask questions to your partner as well. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, pueden comparar igual su progreso, hacer preguntas, no hay problema. Ah. Sí, yo les comentaba a los compañeros de que. Eh, ya me trabé en la 19 <ríe> totalmente pero no. en la pero en las dos últimas en all right dos. all right no problem you can compare este no no ceden a mí <ríe> a sus answers <ríe> sí es que yo no le puedo ayudar porque no he llegado hasta ahí no, no sé <ríe> But sí, the questions, te... this, I mean, these statements, you already say if you agree or disagree. Aquí ya estuvo. Finished. Yes. All right. Yeah. Perfect. No problem. Yes. Yeah. La... All right. Done. All good. All done. Yeah, teacher. Great. Uh huh. Let's just start with the first one. The customer is always right. <laughs> Como diríamos en Spanish, está un poco trillado. <laughs> it's a bit overused. All right. Uh huh. 
Disagree. Disagree. <laughs> totally disagree. Why? Because teacher, like we, uh, like I talked to Virginia. Mm -hmm. uh, well, in my case, in my opinion, I say, for example, if some customer buy some product, mm -hmm. and if the customer doesn't uh, doesn't care this product, for example, a cell phone, a computer, mm -hmm. they go to the store and they want to change this product, but sometimes the customer has the, or doesn't care the, the product. For me, it's not always the customer has the, the reason. Or mm -hmm. They're the not right. always right. Yeah. The right, sometimes they right. are careless. Sometimes they just want to do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. exactly. All right. Somebody else? Any opposing opinion? <laughs> Any opinion in favor? The customer is always right uh, because one of the principles on on customer service mm -hmm. is is that because um, I I I think is the meaning is you can you have you must have the way find the way how to say no without saying no. Mm -hmm. uh, so for me, it's, it's, it's correct, but it doesn't mean you always uh, going to, to do whatever the, the, the customer, customer wants. Uh -huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the best uh, agent in customer service is who can handle the a solution uh, mm -hmm. exactly handle the situation and 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 say no but never say no <laughs> never <That's> say never <laughs> interesting looking for the right strategy to convince the customer that he is right but now giving in to their request exactly ah. You are an expert in customer service, Hayes. <laughs> I was in a in, in a, a call center in a bank, so a little bit. I Do you give training? Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Ah. Uh, Do you have I was an example of a, 20... of a strategy? Um, not in English. <laughs> 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 ah, that's interesting because sometimes we know what to do but how to do it we need an example let's yes. say uh -huh. yes. so that is going to be your homework for next monday ah. okay <laughs> to exemplify a <an> strategy <laughs> okay okay <laughs> So let's move to the second one. The company agent must be compliant. What do you think? Agree or disagree? Anybody? Nos hubiéramos hecho un debate, pero unos que hubieran estado en favor y otros que hubieran estado against. A group agree and the other group disagree. That would have been interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah, for some, you have to defend your position. <laughs> that is forcing the participants to think in English, to speak English. <laughs> I know when we are in in-person classes, it's easier because you say, okay, let's salió la postura en favor. You have to defend it. <laughs> so you just give like the papercitos, you know? It's interesting. I, I really love advanced levels where students can debate. It's, it's really interesting. Uh -huh. The company agent must be compliant. You know what compliant is? Cumplir. Complaciente, like, se ah. diga todo lo que el customer diga. Okay. Uh -huh. Agree or disagree? Disagree. disagree teacher disagree why in my case in my opinions the customer are not always right mm -hmm. 
So the company agent shouldn't be compliant. It's not necessary that the agent is compliant with everything that the customer wants or asks or requests. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Uh, yeah. With this idea, the company agent must be compliant. Uh, in my opinion, I am agree and I disagree. Agree. I agree and disagree. I agree and disagree. Okay. I agree. Okay. I agree when the company the, co the company uh, the company debe cumplir must comply <laughs> must comply must comply with with the request or of customer uh -huh. yeah uh, in this case the company the company must be compliant. Mm -hmm. uh, why? Because um, because there are different things, agreements, mm -hmm. the customer versus company. Mm -hmm. In this case, I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, I disagree when the customer requests other other things, and the company uh, don't know about. Okay. Uh, he asks for that mm. yeah so in when it case, is not part of the agreement between yes. customers and company all yes. right interesting that's a very very wise teacher yes uh maybe i agree um uh, if i have a good customer base uh, i must be compliant mm -hmm. with the customer mm -hmm. the uh the opposite is when the I disagree when the customer base is, is very bad, for example, or, or unpolite, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's great. All right, good. Good ideas. Nice. Okay, the next one. Transfer the call when you can't find the solution. Agree or disagree? <laughs> I think, in, in my opinion, I disagree because really we need to have solution uh a a customer mm -hmm. in, in, in this in, in this moment. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's part of your work. That's yes. the work, uh huh, as an agent, right? But yes. I think it's also possible that if definitely. It has been for so long, for so much time, trying to provide a solution and cannot find a solution. Maybe a supervisor or a manager who is in a higher position can yes, make a better decision, right? I think it's also possible to transfer. Yes. Yeah, unfortunately, in the industry of customer service, if you transfer the call, you are not considered a good agent. <laughs> <laughs> because you yes. couldn't it get it, exactly because you couldn't find a solution. All right. The last one, showing politeness is sometimes unnecessary. Agree or disagree? Disagree. Disagree. Why? Teacher, in my opinion. Uh -huh. uh, it's not depends uh, for the company that you work if you have to be polite or uh, not polite. Polite, because it depends for our own, our, for own values. Our own values, our own education, our yeah. own principles, right? Yes, that's true. And it's not necessary that you are working at a customer service area, right? To be polite or not to be polite. Okay, interesting, very interesting. Okay, questions? Any question? I just have a recommendation and I'm gonna do it in Spanish. En español nosotros decimos yo estoy de acuerdo o yo estoy en desacuerdo. In English, no usamos el I am agree. Solo decimos I agree or I disagree. En el caso que lo queramos usar, I 
don't agree también es posible. Yes, pero hoy no, no utilizamos I am not agree, I don't agree, porque es como un verbo de acción. I agree, I disagree, or I don't agree. It's more yes. common we use I agree and, and I disagree. It depends. <laughs> si usted está de acuerdo o está en desacuerdo. Okay. Uh -huh. Pero podría ser I don't agree en lugar de I disagree. Oh. Okay. Yes. All right. Just that clarification, okay? All right. Questions. How can we help a customer agent when there's no solution for the customer? What do you understand by automated customer service? And what features should a company agent have to be effective? Let's discuss the following questions. Of course, these are just three questions. Okay, this is thinking about customer service area. And we know we have experts here. How can we help a customer, a customer agent when there's not a solution for the customer? What do you understand by automated customer service? And what features should a company agent have to be effective? Part of the training, probably, is important to have an effective company agent, all right? So I'm going to give you like two more minutes so you can discuss these three questions. But also, I, I think uh, some people wanted to discuss about the advances on the platform. I'm going to give you like four minutes. Puedo utilizar dos minutos para discutir las questions and the other two minutes para comparar o pedir ayuda en alguna dificultad de los exercises on the platform. Yes? Agree? Or disagree? Agree, teacher. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Agree, teacher. Let's go. que podríamos discutir si tenemos alguna duda de, de la plataforma no sé si uh, tú... no, no, no. no ya avanzó con todas las tareas sí. una sección So, no sé si ya, ya avanzó o quisiera Ahorita que Ahorita me estoy metiendo que en, en una plataforma. Ok. I wait. <coughs> Ya ido hasta el examen. Sí, ahorita <coughs> me voy por la tarea 16. Ya pasé la unidad. Bueno, esta sería la unidad 4, creo. Entonces, este no sé por qué, cuál tarea o usted o por cuál unidad. Por esa para la 4, pero por la tarea 18 me quedé que me salieron todas malas la, las oraciones. Sí, y estaba buscando en el grupo porque la vez pasada ahí las estaban poniendo. 
La tarea 18. Bueno, ya no le he empezado. Complete the conversation with the girls for force of the pairs. Do we start? Andrea, ¿qué se llama? Eh, como capacitaciones, ¿verdad? Exacto. Porque Eso no iba a decir yo me robó. De... <ríe> Porque no todas las empresas manejan lo mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces, de acuerdo a la actividad de la empresa, se capacita. Uh -huh. Sí, es de capacitar bien al personal. Y de seleccionarlo, a que se vea que tengan paciencia, porque lidiar con personal eso cuesta. Uh -huh. Sí. Tiene que conocerse todos los posibles problemas que podrían surgir en cuanto a los servicios que prestan, porque yo me fijo, bueno, las raras veces que he ido a Telecom, Ay, es que ahí llegan personajes de toda índole los que llegan a reclamar. Y, y... Efectivo. Ah, aquí está la de teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Teacher, are you there? Yes, tell me. Excuse me, we have a doubt about the first question. Mm -hmm. Um, how can we help a customer agent when there is no solution for the customer? Uh -huh. uh, no, no entendemos cómo, cómo, cómo podemos ayudar a un agente de atención al cliente. Cuando, cuando... no encuentra soluciones para sus clientes. Es como Ajá, si usted pero como, estuviera... como cliente. Ajá. No, como en este caso usted tiene que pensar como alguien que está en una tal vez en una, en una posición más alta que el, que el agent. O alguien que trabaja para la misma empresa, pues si tiene un agent que nunca encuentra las alternativas, ¿cómo ah, lo okay, ayuda? Okay. Uh -huh. Pero, like, es, like, eh, eh, pero viéndolo eh, como, como jefe, digamos. Exactly, uh -huh, o como parte de, del personal. Ah, Porque okay. a veces pensamos que solo los jefes tienen, like, Like giving them training, coaching. Ah, coaching, training. Ah, ok. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y a veces oh. igual, ajá, sí, quizás los, los, los que están en, la, en una postura de, de dar coaching o training, solo pensamos que en ellos, pero a veces las soluciones también pueden venir de los mismos partners o de los mismos equipos. Yes. O dentro, dentro de los equipos de trabajo, uh -huh. también hay compañeros que tienen más experiencia Exacto. que otros nuevos. Entonces, ahí ellos pueden compartir, compartir mira, debe de uh -huh. ser así. Compartir y así para y soluciones. Interchange Correct. knowledge. knowledge. Uh -huh. Yes. Knowledge, oh, okay. yes. Exactly. Oh, very good. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Excellent. All right. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, people. Um, so we can say uh, we can promote. Le and what do you understand by customer service? Okay. Aquí es como ¿Qué entendemos por un servicio automatizado? Algo así. Service efficient for the client, ¿verdad? Servicio eficiente para el cliente, ¿verdad? Cuando es, el servicio es automático, ¿verdad? Automático quiere decir ponerse todos a trabajar en función, ¿verdad? De, de, de customer. Yes. Mm. Julio. 
Right now, you, Julio is going to chair. Uh -huh, Julio, do, do le salieron bueno. <laughs> Ah, la 16. Feature. Effective. Eh, ahí dice que las características que debe tener el agente de la empresa para ser eficaz. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ahí decíamos que te, tiene que estar capacitado de acuerdo a la actividad de la empresa para poder tener conocimiento sobre el desarrollo que van a tener, los posibles problemas que pudiesen surgir y, y, y de esa manera darle solución al, al problema que el cliente presente. Ah, ok. Ok, ok. Very good. Gracias por retroalimentarme, que no, no había escuchado bien, todo se había cortado. Ah, oh. ok. We finished, teacher. All right, awesome. <laughs> sentence in possible sentence. Be careful with the form of the verb. Dice, convierta las siguientes oraciones negativas en oraciones positivas. Uh -huh. Y cuidado con la forma del verbo, ¿verdad? Ok. Ah, como, sí. ella, como están en negativas, ¿verdad? La vamos a hacer uh -huh. a positiva, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y ahí el verbo ya tendría que pasar a, a pasar. Sí, y recomienda cuidado con el verbo. Sí. Entonces. All right, everybody finished. Okay. All right, possible answers. How can we help a customer agent when there's not a solution for the customer, when this agent cannot find a solution? Mm-hmm. How? For the number one, how can we help an agent when there's no solution for the customer? Anybody? Volunteers? Experts? Teacher, uh, maybe an, uh, a bus, maybe mm -hmm. to do scheduled training, maybe? To schedule a training, uh huh. Give them coaching. Give them, yeah, giving them coaching, right? Uh -huh. Promote uh, leaders, team leaders. Promoting team leaders, right? Promoting teamwork as well, right? Uh -huh. Okay, what do you understand by automated customer service? Anybody in these modern times of technology? Like a bot. 
It's like uh, robots, yeah. Right, it's a bot, right? So self-service. Uh, for example, when the customer can fill forms, landings for obtaining the information and and doesn't need the the participation of a, an agent of a human. <laughs> yeah. In this case, right? So it's something that it's being already programmed. It's something that responds automatically depending of the necessity, right? Sometimes it can be a chat, it can be a form. And of course, it doesn't need an agent to be there or human voice. All right. And what features should a company agent have to be effective? What features are similar to characteristics. How the agent should be to be an effective agent. Very polite. Very polite. Or be polite. Empathy. To show empathy. Empathy. Leadership. Leadership. To show leadership. Right. Enthusiastic. Proactive. And all the good qualities. <laughs> Emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is very important, exactly, because, very. yeah, actually determine, because some people can work in customer service for so many years, and they are still cool, relaxed, don't get frustrated when they uh, have a lot of complaints, a lot of issues, they are still working effectively, right? But it, it, I mean, definitely, it's their emotional intelligence what determines how they manage, how they handle all these issues. All right, thank you for sharing. That was pretty good, actually. Let me just share the manual because I want you to focus on this page I told you. Well, this is on page 35, I guess. Yeah, 35. Page 35. It says, uh, ask customers details about a problem they had to provide a solution and brainstorm about further questions. You're, I mean, you ask customers to get more information about a problem they have. I think we already did this. I don't know if you remember. Well, let's do it pretty quick. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I have. Uh-huh. A que le suena? <laughs> a terrible Unsa experience. Unsatisfied. An unsatisfied customer, right? Yeah. A long trip in a very uncomfortable bus. So the Public person transportation is transportation in El Salvador. Yeah, but that's normal. <laughs> when, when you that's take 44. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Pero miren, due to the bad conditions of the transportation in El Salvador, o sea, ya nadie se queda porque ya lo han por sentado. It's normal. Pero imagine yeah. that you buy a ticket to go to Costa Rica by bus because you need to go on a training for your company. I guess a ticket from El Salvador to Costa Rica is not 25 cents. No. <laughs> no. It's how expensive. Much, how much do you think it costs? Google, no. Metase no. una vez al, al. No vamos a decir names of the company, pero we know which company goes to Costa Rica. Do you know? Do you have any idea? How much would it be? Maybe about eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred. No, I think 800 is too much. But no, five, 500. No, no, less than, less than 300? I don't think so. Because uh, 120. 120, 20. really? No, it's cheaper. 
Did you go, Gilberto? Did you go to Costa Rica by bus? Sí, es. Eh, en mi case, I'm living in Nicaragua, fighting dollar. Fifty dollars to go to Nicaragua. Sí, yes. Fifty. Fifty. Cincuenta. Oh sí, yes. Cincuenta dólares. Yeah, if you want to go to, yeah, if you want to go to Nicaragua, it's very cheaper. Really? Really? Cheaper, yeah. Cheaper. But the company that goes to Nicaragua is not the same company that goes to Costa Rica. It's the same. Mm, I don't think. You don't think so? I, there is no, a bus only from that. here to Nicaragua and from Nicaragua to El Salvador back. Because once I went to Costa Rica, but of course it was for tourism. But in tourism, you pay for everything, for a package, right? Including the hotel, hostel, food, and, and I mean, sometimes the food. But some other times we have to buy the food. And yeah, included some entrances to touristic places. But I mean, it was long, long time ago and it was kind of expensive, I remember. So let's say, $180 from here to Costa Rica and the bus that you are assigned in is old and slow and doesn't have AC and you are forever Teacher, there. Yes? I searched something in, the, in Google mm -hmm. and it says $183 and Four hundred and eighty-three. Around a round trip to Costa Rica. Really? Yes. It's not that bad. Not that bad, yeah. actually. It is maybe cheap. Mm -hmm. It can be cheap, but I think, considering the prices in Costa Rica. Yes. Yes, Costa Rica is pretty expensive. Very expensive. Yes, very expensive actually. All right. So, let's read this again. Lo van a volver a leer. Verlo y si tienen alguna dificultad con vocabulary, let me know. Y luego, ask a different partner these questions and write the answer. Luego, compartimos estas questions y tratamos de buscar las answers according to the reading. I'm going to read it once again slowly so that you can find out if there is any difficult word, any difficulty with the reading. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I'm considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I have. Difficult words? Difficult to understand? No? Very easy. A, sig a signal? A sign. A sign. In a, a sign. Ah, okay. Hmm? What well, that you assigned? Assign me in. Okay. Assign me in. Right. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have a new partner so that we can read listen to your partner's reading and vice versa and then answer the questions mm -hmm. this is a good idea
that you assigned me in didn't have a C. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I have. Okay. Uh, as a different partner, this question and write the answer. Where did the patient where did the passenger go? Another country. Another country. Visit. Visit. That company. Um, yes. Ok, entonces dice la, la pregunta uno, ¿a dónde fue el pasajero? A ah, other country. Yes. The, o, o podría ser, the passenger go to the other country. Mm. Ah, no, Katy dice, last week. I have the chance to travel with your company. O sea, dice que yo viajé, dice, con su compañía a mm -hmm. otro country. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería, he traveled. He, he traveled. With with his company to another country. He traveled. Ahí sería, he traveled. He. Ajá, um, he. O sea que él viajó. A ese se la leí después. Read the, the mail. Yes, yes, please. Okay, last week. I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have air conditioner. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay, muy bien. Thank you. Teacher, how do you say inconvenience? Inconvenience. Inconvenience. Ah, inconvenience. Exactly. Incom inconvenience I have. Mm -hmm. Because of the inconvenience I have. Inconvenience. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. In this case, teacher, the uh, maybe what what thing about the the owner, for example, with uh, with read this this email. Yeah, or the manager, or anybody yeah. who is responsible for the trip. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's very hard to read uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. But they have to admit that the buses are old, are slow, and don't have AC. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that it because it was very angry for the service. Passenger. Sí, porque el pasajero no envió el. No, porque el pasajero el mandó. That email, envió ¿no? el. Mm -hmm. 
Um, can we? Okay. Estaría como una queja, ¿verdad? Ajá, porque el sí. subject dice, el subject dice complain about a trip. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces sería, what did the passenger send the email? He, he sent. He sent complain about a trip. Después de send, póngale A. Ah, he sent a complaint about the tree. Aquí, la A. Uh -huh. O sea que él envió después de send del espacio y le pone la A. Mm, he sent a complaint a about the tree. O sea que él envió una queja acerca del viaje. Okay. Um, Creo que sí sería. Son tres o cuatro. Ah, tres. Preguntas. Sí. Okay. ¿Verdad que hay otros compañeros? Sí. Um, Pero que a esta gente va. Andrea Monge sí aparece de oyente, pero Catherine, Beatriz, Urbina. ¿no? Catherine. Ok, lo vamos a leer otra vez. Y yo le hago las preguntas y usted las contesta. Ok. Ok, last week. I have the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was bad experience because the bus that you have seen me in didn't have a seat. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the convenience I had. Number one. Where the passenger go? He traveled with his company. Correcto. Vaya, ahí está. Three. Trip. Trip. Going to write. Trip. All right, finished, right?
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Of course. Let me see. So we're about to finish as well. <laughs> Let's see. Where did the passenger go? Uh -huh. The answer for the first question, where did the passenger go? The passenger... Yeah. The passenger, the passenger didn't say. <laughs> Not exactly, right? The doesn't, like yeah, the, the passenger doesn't really mention a place, a city, or a country. But the passenger Just went? Went to another country. Exactly, right? The passenger yeah. went to another country. He or she, we don't know if it's a he or a she. Because it doesn't mention, actually. Or because of the Hazer, Gmail. To Peter, yes, she. Think, uh, could be a she, right? Okay. All right. Why did the passenger consider a bad experience? Because the bus didn't I see, and the bus was very slow. Exactly, because the bus didn't have AC and the bus was very slow. Okay, what did the passenger send that email? What did the passenger? It would be why did the passenger send that email? Mm -hmm. She sent a complaint about a tree. She sent a complaint about a trip, about the service that she had on the trip, right? Or the the bad quality service of the transportation. I mean, when you pay for a trip to another country, yes. It's very difficult, very hard, very uncomfortable to be long hours on an uncomfortable bus. So she was right. All right. Information questions. In simple pass. Observe and see how the structure is. What, where, when, how. After this WH word, ¿qué tenemos? Mm -hmm. What? A question. Ajá. Uh -huh. Estos WH word exactly son una question. Preguntan algo. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cómo? ¿Por qué? ¿Para qué? Right? What? Where? When? ¿Cuál es la fórmula para estructurar una WH question in simple pass? Tenemos primero el WH word, luego. Auxiliar. The auxiliary did. Because it's in past, right? What, yes. where, yeah. when, how, who, why. Then the auxiliary, then? Pronoun. The pronoun subject. or the subject oh, yeah. of the subject. question. And? Verb. The verb. The verb in past or the verb in base form? Base form. Base form, exactly. And if necessary, a complement. Well, sometimes it's not necessary. For example, if you only say, what did you buy? What did you buy yesterday? Right? So, I bought a vacation package. Where did he fly to? He flew to another country. When did we pay for the service? We paid for the service last month. How did they find out of that promotion? They found out about it on the internet or on internet. Okay. ¿Estas son todas las WH work existing? No. <laughs> ¿Cuáles me hacen no. falta? Which one? Which one would be? Who? Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Y todas las otras que son compuestas, como what color did you buy? Yes. What kind? How? How far? How se pueden combinar con muchísimos adjetivos. Yes. How long did you stay on vacation? Yes. All right. Veamos. Complete the email using prepositions of time compared answers with a classmate. What did you? ¿Cómo complementamos esta question? 
So creo que la instrucción está un poco weird, if you ask me. <laughs> Because this is complete the email. I see questions. Complete the question. Mm -hmm. Podríamos hacer questions acerca de este día que les podamos preguntar a nuestros partners. What did you do today in the morning? I prepared a report. I work on a project. I had a meeting. How did you How did you feel last weekend? Why did you go to the hospital? <laughs> Where did you live last year? Who did you meet in high school? Yes. So think about how to complete these questions. Pero que se las podamos hacer a algún compañero de la clase. Yes. Okay. Bye. Voy a hacer el primer example so that you can have an example. Let me see. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. What did you do last summer? I went to the beach. What did you do last holiday? I celebrated Mother's Day. Obviously, no hagan las respuestas, solo hagan las questions. Just finish the questions. Porque, obviously, la respuesta va a depender mucho de a quién le preguntemos. Si yo le digo a um, Gilberto, what did you do last summer? I worked, me va a decir. Pero alguien más va a decir, I went to the beach. Or I went on vacation. I went to another country. I visited my family, right? So, la respuesta va a variar dependiendo de lo que hizo la persona. Yes? How did you... Find out. How did you find out of this program? ¿Cómo se dieron cuenta de este program? I received an email. I was informed at work. Somebody told me about it, right? Why did you? Why did you leave? Early last class. <laughs> oh, I had an emergency. I went home. I was at work. I, oh, my internet failed, right? Where did you go yesterday? Where did you go yesterday? Fácil. Yeah. Where did you go yesterday? I went to Santa Ana. I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I stayed home. Or I just went to work and I came back home. Uh-huh. Who did you see at the party? Uh-huh. I saw my best friend. I saw... A lot of girls. A lot of women, a lot of girls. Mm -hmm. I saw uh, an artist. Uh -huh. So these are examples, but of course, ustedes las pueden hacer as you wish. Yes? By two minutes to create similar questions in past, similar WH questions. Oh, <laughs> 
que lo vea. All right. Anybody wants to read the questions? Anybody? Yes, teacher. Tell me. Okay, number one. Mm -hmm. What did you what did you cook at dinner? What did you cook for dinner? What did you cook for dinner? I didn't cook dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I bought some tacos. <laughs> Good, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, today is Practical Friday. Practical and yeah. easy. <laughs> <laughs> and good and tasty, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Number two, how did you go there? How did you go there? I went by bus. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Number three, why did you arrive late? Because there was a lot of traffic. <laughs> yes, because the because I found traffic jam. I found a lot of traffic. Los As usual. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number four. What did you go last week? Where? Where did you go last last week? I went to see my mom. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, and number five, uh, who did you see? No, who did you meet at the mall? I met 
Luciano Ay. Sandoval. Ah. <ríe> I met Luciano Sandoval once at a graduation at a thing. Oh, my goodness. She was there. there. Actually, there were a lot of famous people from the TV. But I just say hi to her. It's beautiful. Yes. Um, All right. Huh? Any other example? Um, Some other people example of questions? Uh, teacher, for yes. example, what did you buy last year? What did you buy last year? I bought a new computer. Yeah. Number two, how did you lose the keys in the morning? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, uh, why did you forget the, the answer for the exam? <laughs> why? Because I didn't study enough. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, only where did you that. study at the university? Where did you study? Where did you learn English before? Mm -hmm. Who did you? Let's see, another example. Who did you uh, go to the stadium with? I went with my brother. Good thing. Somebody else? No more? Me, teacher. All right. What did you give for your mother in the Mother's Day? Mm, what did you give to your mother on Mother's Day? I gave her some flowers. Okay. Teacher. <laughs> teacher, I have a question. When we use um, did we the verb, the, the next verb is in, in past or in base form. Base form. Okay. Base form. What did you do? Where did you go? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how did you practice English before starting this program? Mm -hmm. I played video games. Ah, some people do that. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to music. I watch videos. Okay. Mm -hmm. I why did you? Talks. Why did you decide learn learn it English? Why did you decide to learn English? To learn English, okay. Because I wanted to improve. Or I wanted to understand the conversations with people from another country. <laughs> or I, yeah, I wanted to be promoted to another job position. We need to earn more money. <laughs> we want to for earn more sure, money. <laughs> for sure. Agree. I agree. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree too. You can actually you can apply to this program, uh, temporary jobs in Canada or the United States. Yeah, for the ministry. Yeah, yeah. Yes. the other group, I remember there were two or three people applying for this program. The group I had before this one. They, they already had the interviews. And I have also graduate students that went, uh, right now they work in a, in a resort in North Carolina. Three wow. of them went. One is a Baywatch. The other one is attending the spa and the other one is attending the golf court just because of their English. Yeah, teacher, the English open many doors. Yes. And you can meet a lot of people. Yeah. Especially cool. now with technology and communications, you can be in touch <clears throat> with many, many other people. And if you speak English, obviously you can communicate with <clears throat> others. Also, there are job opportunities, I guess, in Turkey. 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 Now they Brilliant. said that. Sí, in English porque parecía el pavo. Really? Turkey. Exactly. It's like Turkey, Turkey. And now it's called Turkey. 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 They are very weird. <laughs> All right, now El Salvador is going to be El Salvador. They would like to travel to Turkey. Yes, Turkey. Be, uh, Turkey. 
it would be a nice experience. I have a friend who went to, I guess, that country. I'm not quite sure if it's that country or Hungary. And he is, he used to be a teacher of English here and he's teaching English, Spanish, and he's learning Turkish. Many people, also there are some other people that went to work in Qatar for Qatar Airways. Aerolíneas. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And other people who went to, let me see what the country is. I forgot. Oh, it's a country in Europe that speaks French. I'm not quite sure. It's Belgium, Belgica. And they are also teaching Spanish and English and learning French. So maybe we need to get another job opportunity. All right. More questions? Oh, that's all. That's all, that's all. All right, great. Where did you go last week? Where did I go last week to work? <laughs> Where did you go last week? <laughs> I just went to work. I didn't go anywhere. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I just went to work. My last <laughs> week was terrible. It was so busy. Busy, really? busy, busy as hell, yes. I think on Monday... Why? which was made the first on Labor Day, I just went to visit my mom in Lovasco because, you know, uh, it's, season, it's high season for us. So most of the time, we had a lot, but a lot to do. All right. Write the missing letters to complete the words. Number one, do you know what it is? Pick up the... Don't you remember? Shoes. Pick up the shoes. <laughs> no, no. No. Okay. Bah, para los que no recuerdan, the vocabulary should be at the beginning of the of the unit. I think it would be pick up the phone here. Pick up the phone, understand, explain, complain, help, request information, get prices, provide one's information, assist, buy, call, receive. Mm -hmm. You remember? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So the number one definitely is pick up the phone. Number two. Call. Call. Now that would be number three. Yeah, number two. Play. Play. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Could be bye. Because play, we need the P L A. <laughs> bye. Yeah. Yes. For number three, you say call for number four. Mm hmm. Get prices. Get price. Get prices, yes. All right, five. Explain. Explain. Six. Complain. 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 Explain. Complain. Similar. <laughs> Seven. Help. Um. Help. Help, help. Help. I need somebody. Eight. Assistant. Assist. Oh, assist. 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 Mm -hmm. Nine. Receive. Receive. Ten. Understand. Understand. Ten. Eleven. Provide, provide one's, one's information. information. Provide one's information and 12. Request information. Request information. Las completaron en su manual. Yes. Did you complete them in your manual? Very good. Write the adjectives to show customer satisfaction. Eso ya lo habíamos hecho. ¿Cuál de este vocabulario muestra satisfaction and dissatisfaction? So don't worry. Where is he? Transform the negative sentence into positive. 
Aquí están en negro y la vamos a hacer en positive. She didn't buy the computer. In positive sería. She buy the computer. Okay, the verb buy in pass. Buy the. Buy. buy. O-U-G-H-T, oh, el verbo que le ha dado todo el mundo. Ah, <laughs> ah, she bought that computer. She bought. Ah, okay. Bye. Les voy We... a dar 10 minutos para que lo resuelvan. Obviamente, con sus partners, déjenme ver. Vamos a hacer new groups. Re... Ok, let me see. Add a new group. Recreate. Ahí sí. Yeah, yeah. Okay, number two, we didn't bring that package. La vamos a hacer positiva. Sí. Okay, entonces sería, sería we brought that package. Sí, bro. Ajá, este. <clears throat> es traer o llevar. Este está en la, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ajá, o sea, o sea, de qué. Ahí le acabo de compartir la imagen al teacher, al WhatsApp. ¿Ya la encontró? Ya lo que no, Yo tengo una copia de la plataforma. Ah, bye. Entonces vamos a la número dos. Sí. O sea, la instrucción es, dice, transform the negative sentence in, into positive ones. O sea, que como está en negativa la vamos a convertir en positivo sí. eh, y quedaría we brought that package ajá nosotros llevamos eh, la de arriba sería she she buy no she bought she the bought. computer ajá porque está buy porque tiene el auxiliar está en su forma base pero como nosotros ya no vamos a usar el didn entonces va a quedar she bought that computer. Yes, that's yes. correct. Ok. La siguiente es we. Number five. Number five is our boss came came back last week. Okay. Decline call. Yes. Hello, teacher. <laughs> 
Okay, are you alone? Hey, hey. Sorry, teacher. Yeah, it's, it's like that. So because <laughs> Julio is like oyente. <laughs> it's just listening. listening, right. All right, give me a second. Así es, ¿verdad? The employees read the email. Okay. Uh -huh. sí. The number five is uh, <laughs> our boss. <laughs> our boss <laughs> came back. So he came back, came back last week. Hello, teacher. Is correct the number five, teacher? Our boss came back last week. Our boss came back last week. That's right. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Teacher. All right. The sentence number six, uh, Virginia. Number six. Mm -hmm. Please tell me the sentence. No cancelaron la reunión. Así sí. se escribe Bow. ¿Cómo se escribe Bow? Bow? No, le falta cómo se llama. La D. No. no lleva D. No, 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 no lleva D. Es Bow, lleva la G, la H le falta y la T. Ah, así. Bow, ya. Yeah. It's like that. Ah. Bow the computer. Bow. Ah, okay. Sí, es que como no, 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 creo que el compañero que estaba ahí estaba ahí de oyente, ¿no? A, así va. Sí, exactly. Sí. Ok. Mm, we. Eh, bro. bro. We. Bro. bro. We. Are. Eh, vaya, este. Uh, are, bro. dice. B. No, no, no. No, no. Bye. No, no, no. B, 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 ah, R. B. <ríe> B. B, R. No, no, no. B, R. Ah, la pero palabra. Me... B. B. No, no, no. B de burro, siempre. O sea, el, el verbo bring a bro. Bro. B, B, R, O. U, G, H, T. U, G, H, T. Uh -huh. Package. Ah, uh, así. Bro, oh. yeah. Um, y, y este que dice aquí, bring, ¿qué? Eh, entregar, eso. entregar es. Uh, entonces quedaría, we bro. Uh -huh. Se entre, nosotros entregamos el paquete. The package, that package. <coughs> Okay. Eh, ¿Qué le iba a preguntar? Este y que no es by que no es el pasado de Bow y aquí qui no lo escribí Brown. mal así. Bow es el pasado de Brink. Ah, eh, y así se escribe, o no lo escribí mal, creo. Perfecto. Ah, perfecto. Ajá, entonces ahí quedaríamos con las, las ocho. No sé si puede leerlas ahorita. Down, she bow, down, that computer, we browse, that package. The client called 
yesterday, the employees reading the mail or boss came, but last week they canceled it, canceled it, the meeting. The lady wanted to complain. I sent the report to his email. To this email. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, Seria. He bought the computer. We brought yes. the package. The client called wow. yesterday. The employees read the email our bus came back last week they cancelled the meeting the lady wanted to complain I sent the refund to this email yes usted ya hizo esto ya la hizo en la plataforma Sí, ya la hice. Algunas me costaron, pero ya estuvo. Ahorita voy a trabajar la plataforma número cuatro, pero. Correct. She bought that computer. Yes. Right. Yes. Second. Brought. We brought that package. The, the package. we brought that package. That package. All right. Three. The client called. Called yesterday. All right. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Yesterday sounds like a song from the Beatles. Yesterday. <laughs> right. Yeah. The Yesterday. employee. Yes. <laughs> employees in plural, right? Red. Uh huh. Red. The Red the email. The email. That's right. Our boss. Came back last week. Came back last. Um, for, um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yes. 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 It's okay. <laughs> from another place, not from here, because from here it's fine. It's fine. Yes. Yes, that's correct. They, they canceled the meeting. Canceled the meeting. Thank God. <laughs> Yes. And then when they reschedule it, it's too long. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for unnecessary things sometimes. But anyways. The lady wanted to complain. Wanted the lady, to complain. The lady wanted to complain. Complain, sorry. Complain con T ya es la queja. Pero complain sin la T es quejarse, la, la acción. Sorry. Mm, okay. Yes. A letter of complaint. Decimos una, una, una carta de, de queja. I sent. Sent. The refund. The refund to this email. I got my refund. Did I tell you? 
Oh. After a month. Well, you know. Nice. Yeah, thank God. But I, I got the refund, and according to the app, it was the super selectors. <gasps> so the mistake oh, was yeah. made by the super selectors. Do you have Very any problem? Very convenient. <laughs> Para que no es que tampoco se ponen las pilas y no salen para la tarjeta y ni siquiera lo vuelven a ver a uno las cajeras. Yo, yeah. ok. If I don't want, to, I just take my things. Take, take it easy, teacher. Take it easy. I know, those people are crazy. I get the fun with Prado. Really? In my dreams. <laughs> This, Robert. No, but it's true, I mean. We are all <laughs> under difficult circumstances, I understand. But sometimes, yes, at the, I mean, the people attending, the customers, at the cashiers, you know, sometimes. Uh, anyways. Done. We're done for this week and for the third unit. Unit three is done as well. Let me have the attendance, please. It's Friday night. Yeah, Is that a rest? I know. Andrea? Andrea? She only said the attendance at the beginning. Left. Carlos? Present, teacher. Dennis? Dennis? Yes. Not Dennis. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry. Gilberto, Santa Maria, Rios. Nice last name. Santa Maria and Rios sounds very interesting. Hazel Jimenez. Present. You're married, Hazel. I hadn't noticed until today that I'm checking last name. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you have names? No, not no. yet. Not yet. Would you like? Of course. How many? Two. Any preferences <laughs> for boys or girls? No. That's all right. No, no. Yes. It's okay. All right. Nice. Jose. Present teacher. Jose is a father of a beautiful daughter called April. Yes, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Julius. Julius Caesar, like the emperor of Rome. Yeah, no fue Julius. Oh, no, nunca vino. Actually, Catherine, Kathy, Mary, Listen. hey, Mary, Mary, still here, Robert, present teacher, Orlando, present okay. teacher, Salvador, present, y Salvatore, Susan, oh, las Andreas que nos está pasando las Andreas. The Andreas are not here. Virginia. Present. And William. Is William here? No. Didn't attend today. Well, yesterday we talked to Salvador. All right. It's okay. No problem. Rest is Friday. Take it easy, yes. relax, don't complain. <laughs> don't complain with the Oye, people. ¿cuándo, Rolando? Yes, of course, I have to bear. Now or never. Okay. <laughs> go to bed, go to bed. Go to bed. The body, the body, body knows. The body knows. Everybody, number one. <laughs> okay, and he's ready. <laughs> yes. All right, have a good night and a wonderful weekend. I see you for Thank the next Thank you. Bye. See you. Next Bye. Monday. Bye. Happy, Happy weekend. Thank you. Happy, Happy weekend. Bye. 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 Careful. Yes. <laughs>